Connection Network, TSPN. And now TSPN proudly presents Today's Seniors Living Well with your host, Lori Webb. Here we are. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. it's that time again. Wow. Glad we're, we're back together again. again. 25 se- shows. Yes, four seasons. Four seasons. Oh, this it's is been the fourth, right? Yes, yeah. this is number four, and we've covered so many things, and it's such a popular show. That's the best part. Yeah, we people keep really hearing like how it. people like it. They like the information the community offers to them, mm-hmm. and this show, you know, coming up this season is going to be fabulous. Right, because we want to make 2013 your lucky year. Exactly. Yes. So, so, Knowledge is power. Exactly. Absolutely. And we've actually dispensed a lot of power in the last 25 shows, don't you think? We have. I tried to make a list last night. I, I was going to do like alphabetically A through Z, all the things we did. <laughs> but things kept kind of falling more in categories. You know, right. like we covered all the local resources. Right. Uh, the hospital, um, hospice, Lifeline, Kit Carson. Well, personal safety, you know, right. was a big was a big theme for um, us, and making sure that, like, when we did falling in, uh, falling back into fall and being safe, oh, right, that we right. had Craig Harmon from the Highway Patrol talking right. about making your car safe and driving safely through the fall and winter months. Exactly, and of course. My favorite, Amateur Lifeline, where of course. help is just a button away, and you can, you know, have personal safety in your home. Mm-hmm. We've talked to the sheriff and Scott Morrison mm-hmm. about a lot of things, doing hidden key and right the hidden key program. And Scott had some really good tips on being safe in your own home. Yes, and. Um, and uh, Judge Her- now Judge Hermanson came and talked about scams. And that's and still a scams. huge problem in this yep. county, and we're going to address that this time again because every time Something you turn new. around, there's a brand new right. uh, scam. And um, that was a great conference. It was at the Senior Center a few weeks ago. For yeah, those who missed it, that it forum, was tremendous. The DA's office did a great they job did. with that. They brought um, really good resources from the Department of Insurance. I, I hope that we can bring some of that information Absolutely. into one of the shows that we're doing now. I think I think the thing that impresses me the most overall with the show is how wonderful it is to be a senior, and I am one, um, and live in Amador County because everyone really cares. Whether mm-hmm. it's the DA's office or your supervisors, um, your local PDs, the fire department, which is volunteer, you know, the admins coming, they really genuinely care about the people that are aging in their community right. and making right. sure that they're safe. And you don't find that in a lot of counties. Well, and and not just that they're safe, but that they also know the resources. I mean, yes. we have law enforcement and we have the ambulance company. The ambulance company, you know, is a force behind the vial of life. Yes. The little boxes that we have uh, to, to give to people. Um, and I think we should give a shout out, Virginia, to the supervisors for. Oh my I mean, gosh. without them, this never would have gotten started. Nope. And it frankly, was. we came this close, as you might recall, <laughs> to not being able to do this series. And the supervisors and they all came through. Stepped up. They all stepped and up. And our viewers, because our viewers told the supervisors, we mm-hmm. really like this program, mm-hmm. and we are getting a lot of valuable information, mm-hmm. and so they felt it a good investment into the community, right. which says so much about them. And they right. have been wonderful guests. Each one brings such a different um, aspect Mm -hmm. to the show Mm -hmm. over the last Mm -hmm. uh, 25 shows. 25 shows. And they've been included. But, you know, we've talked about fitness, and that's a really big thing in this community, too, what's Mm -hmm. offered. Mm -hmm. Um, Some of the things. And and the the whole concept of today's Seniors Living Well, I was thinking, like, the Foothill Fitness Active Aging Program is run by seniors. Yes, it Um, is. Well, Mel Welsh, she's not quite a senior yet. But Jan, Jan Malaccio and I are, uh-huh. but and all of our volunteer trainers are seniors. Right. So um, the the seniors involved them. The Nolans. Just think about that wonderful oh. interview we had with John and Grace. Grace. And, and they're involved they in so mm-hmm. much between mm-hmm. hospital and the thrift store and Sierra jo- Madre Garden Club. Yes. And, yeah. And the, you know both of them had full careers before retiring, and now they're full-time in volunteering. Exactly. We talked exactly. about mental health, and depression can be, especially if you're ill um, or you feel isolated from your family or friends. We talked about depression. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a, a really good topic, and not always easy that 
people want to, you know, talk about, but it's real. Right, right. And, and we also address some of the resources that we have in the county for people to avoid or deal with being depressed. Yes. Um, things like uh, the, the volunteering, you know, yes. if you feel bad, help somebody else and it'll make you feel uh -huh. better. Um, and I'm thinking like uh, when Annie came on and talked about hoarding and which is often a symptom of depression yes and how to address that uh -huh. and, and just you know the the shows that we did about um, planning forward like uh, Gwen Christensen came and talked about looking ahead estate and, planning and, estate and, planning. and making sure that what you want is going to be carried out mm -hmm. and we talked about in volunteering we also talked about armchair volunteering meaning that you could donate to your favorite charity and give to the community foundation to help mm -hmm. sustain if you love cats and dogs you can keep that program going and and so there's lots of different ways whether you're confined um, by a physical impairment or um, maybe you're just don't like to go out and be real social social you know right. and, and get in the community now I know the interfaith food bank they depend a lot upon the volunteers in the community many of which are seniors right. and um, so you know there's uh, yeah there's tons of opportunities I know you and I are on that isolated seniors task force yes and one of the things we're going to talk about at the meeting today is compiling that list of volunteer opportunities. Right. I mean, there's a lot of volunteer opportunities that you can do in Amador County, and apparently people aren't aware of right. many of them. So we're going to try right. to get that list. Well, and um, I didn't know until we did the segment that the Amador County uh, themselves can use volunteers in some positions, right. like going that's up right. to uh, the animal control and walking dogs. Right, or the Books at Home program that the library does, right. where they have... Uh, people delivering books and and video materials and right. stuff to homebound seniors. Right. There's just so you know. There's really so much to do, and that's just in the few topics about. Every week we kind of give some things you can go out and do mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the Rose Society having their Rose uh, Fair or whatever you would call it. Right. Um, and um, just it, it, there are just so many activities every single. Week. Yeah, I think we concluded uh, at the end of every show by not having enough time to say all the things that you could actually do in Amador County in the coming week because it's it's really quite. So when we were planning for this this series, we we kind of went through what our um, you know what were our most popular programs. What right. what do we get a lot of feedback about? Exactly. So I think we're going to include some of those this time. We are. And we are. Remember in December when we wrapped up our last show um, in preparing for fall and winter, mm -hmm. um, we even had Santa Claus come with yes. all the Board of Supervisors and Scott Morrison. They all wore Santa hats and antlers and all kinds of silly things. And they wished everyone a happy holiday. And Santa <laughs> arrived. Do you remember that? Yes, well, I do. Well, he's going to be here today. Santa's coming today? Wait, he is. Well, we will have to wait and see how he arrives today. <laughs> he may have kind of a different look, uh, um, but just as jolly. See, this is what my producer does. She <laughs> always has something that she springs on me at the last minute. <laughs> well, it is spring, you know. It is spring. So. But, you know, we are going to go back into mm -hmm. and um, talk about... Um, some of the things with high cap again mm -hmm. um, about Medicare that continues to be a big subject people aren't sure what's going on and so we're bringing that back to talk about some of the changes that have come about and um, that's going to be great we'll bring hospice in to talk about well volunteering mm -hmm. but also the post um, that was right important we've been getting more questions about that mm -hmm. about the post so and some of the yeah. services that they offer mm -hmm. and um, and of course We've got to recap Common Ground because they are growing like a weed. Yes. And I know we have Annie here this morning to, to talk about some of the things that are going on at Common Ground. Absolutely, and a very fun thing coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was yeah. going to bring a special dress today, but I think I'll hold it off till the week of the event that <laughs> Annie will talk about. Right. But uh, anyway, there's just, you know, we could, we could go on and on and on right. about right. Uh, different subjects, and our viewers should feel free to call the station, and if there's a topic we haven't covered, mm -hmm or something they'd like to know more about in a mm -hmm. different way. Maybe we covered it, but mm -hmm. they'd like to get a different spin on it. They should contact the station right? and let them know. I love the program, but I would really like to know a little bit more about this. And That's we will be sure and 
let people know. Sure, because we, you know, we're pretty flexible in our planning, you and I. We, we can, are. We can kind of get things worked in if we need to. And um, I think also it's important for the TV station, you know, people can tell you or me when they see us, mm -hmm. but it's important for the folks at the TV station to know how valued this program is. Right. Because I, I know a lot of my seniors, you know, they say, I watched. TSPN, when are you going to be back on? And, right, you know, so. right. Yeah. Um, you know, when you were t we were talking about personal safety, uh, I've thought of some of the funny things. Um, I remember when Vince came from Western Medical and he brought the rising toilet seats and all these funny things. He brought all his props with him and we just laughed. I missed that show. You had to oh host my that gosh, show because I was maybe in Seattle or someplace. But, yes. Yeah. And uh, then we... Um, you know, we've also had Claypools come on and talk about gifts. Gifts, yeah. And, yeah. you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have right. something right. really big. Yeah, and they storytellers really write right. your family's story out. And, yeah. um, and then we have Patty. Lot. Remember how fun oh, that Patty was? Patty from, from, True from True Value. Your Maybe hometown we'll have to get her back. <laughs> store. Oh, my gosh. She brought such great garden tools and right. things for people that have finger impairment right. or can't stoop over. And Yeah, yeah we've just had and a the, lot And the fun. raised bed gardening? The raised oh. bed gardening, yeah, yes. It was, it's been With quite Jackie fun. With Jackie Charchella talking yeah. about the pull downs. And yeah. We've just, we've had fun guests. It's and been we're going to have season. fun guests this time, and too. And we are, speaking of a fun guest, we've got one coming up. Yes, we do. So, um, stay tuned. We'll be back after this break. Yes.